Again, easy way to follow blood flow through the heart. You can start anywhere, but I like to start superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, superior inferior vena cava, right atrium, right ventricle, pulmonary trunk up and out to the lungs. This would be the left side. This would be the right side. Gas exchange takes place. Right pulmonary veins. This is a posterior view coming over here. Left pulmonary veins into the left atrium. You can see that left atrium here as well. Left ventricle and then up and out the aorta. Now, when we open this up, you can actually see what happens. We're looking into the atria. We're looking into the ventricles here. But you can see what happens nicely on the inside because now we get to see the valves and the way that the valves work. So we have these four one-way valves. They look like they, they work like gates, okay, where a gate only opens in one direction. But what happens here? Same thing with blood flow again. Superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, you can see the pointer coming through here, into the right atrium. This is the first chamber that deoxygenated blood goes through. From there, we pass through the right AV valve. We call it AV because atrioventricular. The right AV valve, atrioventricular. This is the right ventricle here. The right AV valve is also called the tricuspid valve because it has three cusps to it or three little leaflets. So we have these little chordae tendinae, these cord-like tendons that grab on to these papillary muscles that you see here. And what happens is that deoxygenated blood flows through this valve, again, right atrium, past the right AV valve into the right ventricle. And then as the ventricles contract, it gets pushed, deoxygenated blood it gets pushed up through the pulmonary semilunar valve. Pulmonary, because it's leading to our lungs, semilunar, as in partial moon, pulmonary semilunar valve takes that deoxygenated blood up and out the pulmonary trunk. Out the left pulmonary artery, and on this side it bifurcates and splits, you've got the right pulmonary artery here. Gas exchange in the lungs, comes back. Same on the left side, gas exchange in the lungs, comes back. And now that oxygen-rich blood goes into the left atrium. From the left atrium, we pass the left AV valve, Again, left side, AV, atrioventricular. Blood passes through the left AV valve, also called the bicuspid valve because it has two cusps to it. Sometimes also referred to as the mitral valve. This one actually has three names to it. Left AV, bicuspid, or mitral valve. That oxygenated blood then goes from the left atrium to the left ventricle. Again, you can see the chordae tendinae kind of holding these leaflets in place goes into the left ventricle, and when the left ventricle squeezes, that blood goes up here past the aortic semilunar valve. The aortic semilunar valve is what leads that blood, oxygen-rich, up and out through the a or to the aorta, and then from the aorta, up and out we go. And again, at the top of the aorta, you can see these three first few tubes that we're starting to feed the rest of the body from. Brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid artery, left subclavian artery. And then from there, the aorta is going to continue the rest of the way down.